So in this problem, you have to find prime solution. So we have an equation that is a square plus b square plus c square and this is equals to 294. So this seems to be a complex problem because we have only one equation and we have three unknowns. So in this case a, b and c are unknowns. So how will you solve this problem? Three unknown, only one equation. Even though there are three unknowns, but we have been given a big hint. And the hint is the solutions are prime. This means A, B and C are prime numbers. Now the second hint I have that is sum of these three numbers is 294 and 294 is an even number. So this means I have only certain possibility for left hand side because if I add three numbers and it is coming to be an even number this means only certain ways we can allow for a square b square and c square. So the first possibility you can have that is a square is even b square is also even and c square is also even. So if you add three even numbers the final output will be even. Now see a, b, c are prime numbers also and this is an even number so in this case. So which prime number is an even number or you can say which even number is a prime number. So 2 is the only number which is even as well as prime. So let us consider a is equals to b is equals to 2 because in this case only one solution we can have if even. So this is 2 a square plus 2 a square plus 2 a square which is not equals to 294. This means in this case no solution. No solution. Now let us consider the second case. So what will be the second case? You can have two odd number and then one even number because if you add two odd numbers it will be even and then if you add even then it will be even. So the second situation is a square is odd, b square is also odd and c square is even and if you add all this this will be even. Now see, we have considered that c square is even. This means c is equals to 1 because this is prime also. So now in this case, this is a square, this is b square and this is c square. So we have assumed that c, c is even and then c square will also be even. So let us say the lowest prime number or simplest or smallest prime number that is even that is equals to 2. Basically there is no other prime number that is even number. So if you use this equation that is a square plus b square plus c square is equals to 294 and then plug c is equals to 2. So this becomes a square plus b square plus 4 is equals to 294. This means from here you can have a square plus b square is equals to 290. Now what should I do next? So now here I have two variables that is a square as well as b square. Somehow I have to convert these two variables into one variable. Then only I can proceed. So let us make an assumption. So what assumption we are making? So assuming that A is greater than or equal to B and B is greater than or equal to C. So this means the C is the smallest number and A is the largest number. So this assumption I am making. Now let us proceed with this assumption. 
So we have the equation that is a square plus b square is equals to 290. Now let us pay attention here. I am going to use a trick. Now let us see a square plus b square is equals to 290. Now what will happen if I put a smaller number than a? So a in this case is the largest number. a is a bigger number. If I place b in place of a, now will this sum equal to 290? So you have a square plus b square. Now in place of a, if I plug b, that is b square, then this sum will not be 290 because a is a bigger number. I have placed a smaller number then this sum will not be 290. In fact, this sum will be less than 290 because we have placed a smaller number. So let us use this trick and this trick will be useful here. So in place of a b plus b, then these two sums will be less than equals to 290 because we have placed a smaller number. This means 2b square is less than 290. This further means I can say that is b square is less than 145. This means b is less than equal to root over 145. So which number? So this is 12 point something. So now I can say because b is a prime number this has to be less than or equal to 12. So now I got a condition that is b is less than or equals to 12. Now what are the prime numbers that is less than 12? So we have 2, then we can have 3, we can have 5, 7 and 11. So these are the only numbers that is less than 12 and prime. Now let us check which of these solutions satisfies this equation that is a square plus b square is equals to 290. So now I have let us say the first situation b is equals to 2. So if I consider b is equals to 2 this will be a square plus 4 is equals to 290. This means a square is equals to 286. This means now a will be root over 286 but we cannot find a square root of so from here I can say a is equals to root over 286 but root over 286 cannot be calculated this means this solution is not possible. Now let us consider 3 so the second is 3 so what we will have we will have a square plus 3 square is 9 and this is equals to 290 this means a square is equals to 281 and then a will be a square root of 281 once again we cannot find a square root of 281 so this is also not a possible solution now what about a is equals to 5 so let us say a is equals to 5 so 5 a square is 25 and this is 290 so from here I can say this is 295 minus 20 that is a square is 265 this means a is a square root of 265 once again we cannot find a square root of 265 so this is also not a possible solution now the next case a is equals to 7 so we will have a square plus 49 is equals to 290 and from here you can see a square is equals to so this will be 241 so a will be a square root of this number once again this solution is not possible so finally we have a is equals to 11 so a square plus 121 is equals to 290 and from here you will have a square is equals to 
179 and this means a is equals to a square root of 179 which is basically 13. So we have a which is a prime number this means a is equals to 13. So we have solved for one condition. So what was the assumption that is a is greater than b is greater than c. So we will solve a is equals to 13 and what is the value of b? b in this case we have considered so b is 11 so in this case b is 11 and what is the value of c? c is 2. So this solution we have. Now in this case we have assumed that a is greater than b and greater than c. So the assumption was a is greater than b and this which is greater than c. Now let us relax this assumption. This assumption we had made but there is no such assumption. So what are the other possibility for ABC? So three number we can have possibility is we can have six possibilities. We can have first that is A is greater than B is greater than C. So A is the largest. Next possibility I can have that is uh, I can A is the largest but we can change C and B. And the next two possibility I can have in this case I can keep B as the largest and I can change the order of C. So we will have C and A and similarly fifth condition I will have that is C is the largest and A is the second largest and B is the lowest number. And then sixth condition I can have that is C is the largest but B is the second largest and A is the lowest number. So you see in this case we have six possibility. So how many possibility we have? We can have six possibility for all this situation. So there are six solutions are possible. So you can write these solutions basically. So these solution will be so because you have 13, 11, 2. So these pairs will be 13, 11, 2. You just change the pairs. Keep 13, 2, 11. Then you will have 11, 13, 2, 11, 2, 13. So these are the pairs. And finally you can have 2, 11, 13 and 2, 13 and 11. So these are the possible solution for this problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, please share with your friends, like to this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.